project, Sampling the Extreme Poor, um, notes from a venue-based and systematic study, is we, we looked at whether or not we could find the extreme poor people living at 25% of the poverty line or less, with, and families with children, if we could find them using a systematic sample of addresses um, in Baltimore City and Somerset County, or an urban site and a rural site. We looked at neighborhoods based on their poverty level, so high poverty neighborhoods, and kind of differentiated by race. We had two African American dominant neighborhoods, two white dominant, and then one Hispanic neighborhood. Um, and we sent out a team of interviewers to knock on doors. We knocked over 400 addresses uh, during this project, and only about 40 interviews resulted from our screening. Yeah, and this is building on the work of Kathy Eden and Luke Schaefer and their new book about extreme poverty in the United States with the idea that there's a growing number of families living at less than $2 per person per day. We used a proxy of 25% of the poverty line. And out of the 400 doors that we knocked and the 40 interviews that we completed, we actually did not find any families that we identified as living below $2 per person per day. So we hope now not to test a venue-based approach where we would actually go to places where we expect this population would receive services or potentially gather, and to work with those venues in order to identify the sample. We're still in the process of trying to see uh, and try to find these families uh, in order to then test hypotheses about their experiences at this extremely low level of cash income. We also find that um, venues need to be also set, uh, systematically sampled, so what we're doing right now is compiling a list of venues from uh, local knowledge, so we're using the interviews that we did this summer, we're using key informants to kind of tell us where people who are living at this really material level might go to get help. Um, and yeah, we're finding interesting, interesting stories along the way.